Hi everybody, welcome back to another balloon tutorial. Today we're going to be twisting this super cool cross. And this one I used a uh, chrome gold 260, but the one I'm going to teach you with, or the balloon I'm going to use to teach you, is going to be a 160. That way you can really get the pattern down and you have to worry about running out of balloon. Um, but you can definitely, because the chrome balloons are a little bit longer than your standard 260, um, now that I think about it, it shouldn't be called a 260 anymore, more like a 265. Who knows? You know, I haven't measured it, so. Anyway, uh, there it is right there so you can get a good look at it. It's a really clean design, looks really cool. And if you want later, you know, you can really uh, figure out like how in the world can you do this? Well, you can probably figure it out. It's not that hard to do. So let's go over how we're gonna do this. Like I said, pretty easy to do. And I'm gonna be using uh, a 160 and I'm gonna do brown. So we're gonna say it's like a wooden cross. Main reason for that is I didn't have any gold or silver and I think the chromes don't come in the 160 size yet. So, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll work the pattern out here. You'll see how easy it is. Um, I jammed it a little bit to make sure that it was um, efficient and pretty easy to do. And uh, hopefully um, this will lead you to make other things uh, that this cross could look like if you think about it, right? So it's just really up to you on, on what you do with some of these designs, you know, play with them, have fun. And so um, right now, one more thing before I get to the twisting, I'm going to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I just broke 2,500 subscribers, which is tremendous. Again, I can't do any of this without you guys. So thank you so very much. I really super appreciate it. So um, uh, if you're looking for the subscribe button, it's usually like down here somewhere. It's a little red button. Go ahead and click on that and you'll be notified when I put out new videos and I try to be, you know, pretty consistent. So uh, the way I do my tutorials is I will bring the sound down and I'll do voiceover. That way we minimize the squeaking and maximize the teaching. That's right. All right, let's go ahead and do it right now. Let's bring that sound down. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna twist, um, oh, actually we should start off with the fingers, about three to four fingers, probably four is better, just to keep it nice and soft. There we go. So we're gonna twist the center section here. It's gonna be about three fingers wide there. Okay, and then three to four fingers, I would say. You can't go wrong, and then we're gonna match that, actually. We're gonna do another one that's the same size, actually. And then we're gonna do a smaller one. There we go. And right now we're working on one of the arms of the cross, so I'm gonna come right back. You see where I'm gonna twist it? Okay, almost like a, like a poodle's head or a dog's head, kinda. And I'm gonna roll that segment right through there, and that's gonna lock it. There we go, okay. There you go, so now we have an arm, and we have part of the center, and now when we come back and match that, we're gonna have, we're actually gonna get the center of our cross now when we do that. And I'm uh, holding onto that nozzle, making sure that I know where it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and make the second arm of the cross. There we go. And again, working with that same size, we're gonna do that smaller bubble. And then we're gonna do one more to match that other piece of the arm of the cross. All right. And right now I'm actually keeping tabs and just uh, realizing where my nozzle is so I can pull it through and uh, help secure that and make sure it doesn't come undone on me, lock twisting it. Okay, and you can give your balloon a squish if you want right now. And so what I'm gonna do right now, if you see I did about three fingers, I'm gonna go ahead and do about four fingers for this segment right here, okay? And then we're gonna do a three finger segment. There we go, all right. You see how I did that? I looked at the center and I just matched it. And then we'll do another four finger here and we're gonna twist it into the other arm, okay? So we get ourselves like a rectangle shape right now. There we are. All right, and then we're gonna come down and then um, we're gonna make the bottom of the cross. So that was our arms, the top of the cross and the bottom of the cross. So uh, one way I'm gonna measure this is about six fingers and the way I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna bring that back up to the top and realize, okay, there's four fingers, you see that, and just go a little bit beyond it, okay? So about six fingers, six and a half. All right, and then we're gonna do another three finger segment. There we are. And then we're gonna come right back down to that arm and we're gonna twist them right there and you want those to be pretty identical just to finish up okay already and that's pretty much it far as the, uh, the you know using your balloon goes now we're just gonna do the last touches for the top and the bottom of the cross because right now it looks a little silly because you know it's all blocked off you see I'm just hiding the edge so what we're gonna do here is we're going to you can see right now let's give it a quick spin and the way we're gonna make this work is we're gonna pull we're gonna match that, you see how I'm squishing that? And then I'm gonna give it a twist, okay? And what it'll do, what it'll do is it'll twist it in the middle there, um, underneath that se uh, center segment that you made and do the same thing for the bottom. There we are. And that, what happens is it makes everything fit perfect. Now you can turn the arms so they sit out to the side and you're ready to go. Just like that, you have yourself a nice, cool looking cross out of one balloon. 
Hope you enjoy it. Um, no marker in this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And one more note, you could probably add some string to make a necklace at those top seams. Just keep that in mind. All right, so we made it to the end. Uh, I might have gone a little slow. I just wanted to make sure that I was real meticulous so that if you try to really do this um, and work on it, you'll see that it's not that bad. It's just one of those you want to do it a couple times to make sure you get your proportions down, try to be consistent. You know, even me going slow, I realized that uh, I got one bubble right here on this side. Uh, happened to be a little shorter than this side, but uh, all in all, I'm still really happy about it. So, um, man, I'm just I'm, I'm really excited that this design came out. Um, there were already some cool crosses online that you could see, uh, but they were a lot of times they were just crossing along the middle right here, and that was it. And what would happen with you know going fuller on the sides here is um, you run into too much. There's too much going on in the middle there for this to work out, and these. Uh, balloons end up like butting up against one another and want to roll around each other, you know, kind of teeter or whatever. And this, you know, makes it so you don't have to worry about that, which is really cool. You got to love when a design comes together, right? <laughs> Almost making me think like the A-team. Anyway, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, bring this to a con uh, conclusion. But I always want to invite you to subscribe if you haven't done so. Comment down below, you know, like like I said, I'm always happy to hear what you guys have to say about, you know, this design. Maybe you'll choose it to use it. Maybe you won't. You know, sometimes, um, you know, you're hired out for a church event and they don't want, especially with this uh, Holy Week coming up, um, that uh, they don't want, you know, designs that are, um, I don't know, like sometimes they're against guns or swords or whatever. So this would be a nice alternative to have yourself a nice cross that you can offer. And again, remember, you can always do it. Uh, in these chrome colors, which is really cool because the balloon is a little bit longer, which is pretty awesome if you think about it. You know, you can do something cool that uh, maybe you haven't tried before. And so, uh, anyway, like I said, bringing it to conclusion, thank you very much. Don't forget to rate this video with a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you want to support the channel, that's patreon.com slash jlomagic. You can go on over there and make a pledge. Uh, again, just supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. Anything you can do. But until next time, my friends, I hope you have yourself a fun time with your balloons as always. Uh, happy twisting. Take care now.